Hi everyone. <laughs> well, welcome to our COVID nineteen series. So Shas can introduce us. All right. <laughs> I was supposed to introduce, but yeah, sorry. <laughs> so my name is Shas, and this is Farah. Uh, we're both clinical psychologists from Mental Health and You and We Care Like Health Center. Mm-hmm. And for our COVID nineteen series today, we're going to talk about what to do with bored children. Okay. So, anyways, now it's the school holidays, right? So. Yeah, but as you know, what is happening right now in China and everywhere else, and even in Malaysia, yeah. we have coronavirus visiting us. So which means that you know it's quite dangerous. Coronavirus. Yeah. So basically, it's quite a kind of like dangerous times, lah. So you know, usually I think even myself as a parent, when we have school holidays, it means a lot and a lot and a lot of activities running out there. So you know, like visiting at you know aquaria or something. Go you know like. Go be- yeah, going for art classes, going go for chuti chuti somewhere. Yes, you know? going out. So it's know? a lot of going out and doing activities in other places with your kids because you know, if not they have to go to school. But I don't think I mean that's applicable right now because yes, of, uh, of the coronavirus. Health, so yeah, health everybody reasons. is has been advised to have social distancing. And yeah, it's best not to go to crowded places and whatnot. So, so how are we gonna help them? So yeah, because. I think one of the things usually even on the weekends like Saturday Sundays my son will say mama I'm bored what do I do so for some of us one or two days is fine but if the kids are not going to school for a week that may be a little bit challenging yeah you know? it's okay so number one the first point here is that it's okay for your kids to be bored it's normal even we get bored yeah it's you a know? part of life <laughs> right, right? Just, yeah so do you, do you remember how it feels like to be bored When I was a child, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> But we don't go and telling our no, parents, right? No, we don't right? go and tell our parents. We just go find something and we go do something. Yeah, it's like I'm bored. Let me do that. Yeah, let me go do that. Uh, bored. Uh, do that. Yeah. And even now, bored. Okay, find something to do. Yeah, it's. I think it. We forget that our kids need to learn how to amuse themselves and fill yeah. their time alone yeah, without it, actually. Depending on something. Yeah, and they can actually do that. Actually, they we can. just leave them alone a little bit. They'll find something to do. So we need to stop, you know, running Catering after them, and, to them. Yeah, and making filling their their time with activities. They can go find something to do too. Yeah. All right. So number two, point uh, number two is that time to talk to each other. Maybe I mean maybe it's not for all the parents, but this is probably kind of true for the parents who. Are working a lot. Like even for myself, you know, I go to work. Sometimes when I come back, there's a chance that I may be really exhausted, and I probably don't even spend quality time with my kids. I probably just say, uh, "Have you eaten? You know, uh, okay. Have you brushed your teeth? You know, have you gone to the toilet?" Only so, ask the most important yeah. questions. Yeah, okay. it, telling them what to do, how to do it, but not actually say, "Hey, how was your day? What are you gonna do? Hey, do you like that new movie? What do you like today? What happened in school?" So. Those and then really listening, not just asking and then walking yes, off. Just walking out. <laughs> yeah, so maybe it's time to talk to your, your yeah, kids you, to actually get to know them a little bit more. And yeah. I think it's time for you to talk about kids and tell them about yourself. Yes, and it's it's good. So then they know. Oh, mama don't like that. Yeah, you know. So I used I think sometimes like how my parents used to say, you know, when I was young, blah blah blah. It's your time. You say when mama was young. What mama was young? I thought mama old, you know. So those kind of things are pretty funny actually. So, yes. Yeah, I think, those are the younger ones. Yeah. The older ones definitely can hold a better conversation. Yeah. You know, and you can actually ask Genuinely. them a lot more about yeah. what's going on and what they have uh, learned, and you know, if they're okay, if they need you. Yeah. I think that's very important, right? Okay. So number three is that uh, this is very important. I mean. It's a very good way to actually get them out of their boredom, which is yes. to have simple timetables of activities and prep accordingly. Yes. All right. So this means like it doesn't mean that you have to have from nine to ten o'clock, ten to eleven, eleven to twelve. So but generally you have an idea what you're gonna do for the day. So breakfast is around what time, and then after breakfast, Monday, and then after that. Then you know we're gonna have what TV time together, art time together. Are we? Oh, is it story time? Or maybe, um, maybe for some, you know, who decided, okay, love, maybe I want to work at home because you know I want to take care of my kids because it's our school holiday and I can. So what you can do is okay, mom is gonna need to work for about three hours. So during this three hours, these are the things that you can do, and um, mom is gonna do this. And if you need me only for these issues, that you can come and talk to me. After that, we can do something together, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so that they know. That you will eventually come and actually join them. It's just that just for a bit, you need to do something first. Yes, and they need to learn to you know, 
control themselves and not always come and mm-hmm. talk to you and bug you about something yeah. small little things they, they need, need to, to know, know boundaries yes they need to know how to control themselves so yes. mommy i'm not supposed to disturb her at this point yeah. right now only okay. when i want this then i can say so prepping is very important so this would mean like prepping for worksheets or you know paint or i don't know all these things for or the maybe activities. if you want your child to watch tv what channel do you want to show them what yeah. tv show what, what movie show. or something because yeah. you know you don't want to leave them just like that without anything all right so all right. i hope this helps yeah so i hope this helps and yeah hope see have you. a good holiday yeah and see you again for the next series <laughs>